Here it is, Suncorp Stadium. So uh, the pinnacle of rugby league is held all over Queensland. And coming up from New South Wales and Sydney from Parramatta, it's Luke Short's Eels, who again are wanting to just start clicking over the ladder this evening, finding another two points. And it's Joey Kelly leading out his Bronx at home. A rare advantage it is for the Bronx to be at home here at Suncorp. Eddie Oliver, as always, joined by... SRL staff, Melbourne Storm, Vice Captain Riley Murray. How's it going, Eddie? I'm really excited for this matchup. It's uh, some some people may say it's a battle of the spoons, but really the loser could go on to get the spoon later down the track. There's still a lot of footy to be played in the season, but it definitely helped both these teams if they manage to get a win, stop them from being on the bottom of the ladder. They most certainly will, and Whoever comes out of here this evening on top with the two points will go a long way to pushing for the top eight, the, the lower half of the top eight. So it's going to be the Broncos for their first position, the ball. Eddie Oliver is always to take you along for the roller coaster here live on SRL TV. He'll go inside now to Kelly. And Alan Matungi about the back there to cover up on Kelly there. Just short of the halfway, the Broncos. They'll send it off right, looking to work it down the short side, off to Justin Plays. The all-reliable plays. He'll go around Alan Matungi, but the cover comes. June in there with the tackle, along with help from Isaac Simons. And now they'll go left, the short ball, Daly. What a game he had against his old club last week, the Raiders. Now it's going to be fourth, the Broncos, Barisic. Barisic will get rid of one. And again, it's uh, old teammates lining up. Barisic against Luke Short, Anthony McDonald, Kalen Kelly here this evening. We'll see if there's any hard feelings left in the tank. The crossfield bomb taken by Maliaki, but it'll be put on his back. But a very good set. The Broncos forcing the Eels to work it out of their own end. And that was a good step from a uh, good take from Aki. He just couldn't step the defensive line and make some points out of it. But Eels, they're on the attack now. They're going to want to make some meters here. Marshall has uh, been at lock recently and seeming to hold Ooh. down that position. Satisfying Luke Short, but a big shot there on Kobe Three. Kelly. Back oh, sorry, Kalen Kelly puts a big shot on. That's going to be third tackle. They'll go left now. The short ball, it will be off to Joe June. And Joey June will drive it on to the 40 meter line. That's fourth tackle. The early kick's looking to be on play. Marshall will deliver it. Can Kelly oh, get back there in time? It is a beautiful kick. It's a 40 20 and a masterclass move from the makeshift locked lock here for the Parramatta Eels. It'll be Bakers to get us underway. Release. Parramatta, they're looking to strike back. They're in some good field position here. Oh. Oh, big <laughs> shot. Picked up. That's Dan Blaine. There's your first point. Suncorp Stadium will fall asleep. And Parramatta Eels fans will be screaming at the TV. Their side has opened the scoring in Brisbane. How did they turn that into points? Just... Absolute great 40-20 earlier from the Eels, starting off great. And then a huge hit on a uh, Parramatta player who, who I didn't see who it was. And looks like uh, Broncos are about to run away with it, but the Eels, they just jump on it and score off of it. That's just amazing from heads up footy. And they convert too. Now, Levi Raymond, he's going to be kicking off. Yeah, no, a beautiful kick. It wasn't even a kick, but it was beautiful just heads up footy there from Dan Blaine. Picking up the loose ball. A scrambled Broncos defensive line it was and just took made quick work of it. The conversion from Bakers to make it six points of difference. An amazing start from the Parramatta Eels. The first five minutes, they find the first points here at Suncorp. Oshay Ole will take it off here to Kalen Kelly. How good's he been? What a trade it was. The masterclass from Luke Short, Alamatungi, Oshie Ole, and Kalen Kelly it was. And now they'll go off here to Zachary Brown. Oh, Brown, a foot race with Joey Kelly. He'll hold it with him, but he'll find an offload away to Bakers. Second tackle Man, this is Kelly. now. How good's he been to start off the game? would not just like, not even an impact player, but just like he's making an impact in the start of the game. Two, you love that. Two weeks ago. Got a line break from around this position and a try against the Gold Coast Titans. Can he find another one? It's fourth. The halves will link. That's going to be put out to Brown. That's not even a half. That's a center. Now they're left hand to the upright. 79 gained here now. The Parramatta Eels. They'll send it into the pocket for Bakers. 
Not the best of kicks. Kelly will come through. Alamatungi will pick it up. He'll be ankle tapped. The Broncos will hold it on deep in their own half, but they've got a lot of work to do and a lot of ground to make. 90 meters it will be to try and tie up this scoreboard. Yeah, the Eels they just need to show some good defense, keep this lead that they've got. Don't let the Broncos even have a sniff and they might be able to run away with it. Now Marcus will get on side now. Parramatta, they'll go off right. Maliak here will be around one. And on the 40 meter line. The Broncos, third tackle, they'll go left. Edwards, a looming oh, ball Murphy. out. That was quite adventurous, but Murphy will make quick work of it. You could see that happening from a mile away. And now it's going to be Jamison. He'll give it off here to Marshall. And Jordan Marshall will be brought down inside of the Broncos 20. Deep in Bronx territory now. They'll go right. Spreading the ball, Ole. That plays on the outside of him, but he decided to go the quick option, the run. Now they'll go left. Flat-footed a play as it will be, but Marshall will just tuck it under and run. Tom Jamison, a dummy half. He'll send it off left. It's going to be short. A beautiful ball to Anderson, but the cover will come quick. Isaac Edwards getting his body in front. Diligent as always. And now it's going to be Bakers. The grabber kick picked up by Ash Crutcher. The Broncos hold on, but again, they're not getting out of their own end. Fatigue surely going to start to set in soon if they can't get any decent field position. Yeah, he just couldn't get the strike on that grubber that he wanted. Just didn't really uh, go anywhere, just straight into the defender's legs. Uh, he might want that one back, but still not the worst place to hand over, just in the opposition 10. So Eels just hold on to defence. They can make a good offensive play off the back there as well. Isaac Edwards, an early kick on fourth tackle. It's an absolute beauty. It took a trick out of Jordan Marshall's book. The Broncos strike right back the exact same way that Parramatta did. Points came from their 40-20. Let's see what the Broncos can do with it now. This is for first tackle. Crutcher, he'll go left. I wouldn't expect the Broncos to go through the front door. They've lost so much depth and power in the forward pack. They're looking for the switch play now. Inside of Joey Kelly is looming. Allison couldn't get the ball away. They're missing the ball playing ability of Pete Verreto. It's clear as day. Now they'll go here to Felix Stoder. The Broncos will be put on his back there just in the field of play. This is fourth. 11 gone. They'll go right. Short ball, Raymond. There's one in the tackle. And he'll get one against his old club, Levi. Left them at the end of season five. Came to the Broncos in season six. Stayed around for season seven. And he'll get a key try to start the Broncos point scoring here this evening. Man, how good's this? Two 40-20s in this opening exchange here. And two tries off the back of them. We're in for a good contest here, I reckon. We most certainly will be. And showing both sides are wanting to throw the ball around, but they're not afraid to kick early. Fourth tackle, both sides did. A 40-20 did come up of it. Wet conditions here. The ball's going to pull up if you can put it in the right spot. Maybe it'll bounce straight over that 20-meter line. And talking about bouncing, straight over the black dot. Six points all, 12 minutes gone. We're tied up here at Suncorp. It was now to kick off. They just want to try and keep their defense tight now they don't want to give broncos any chances and broncos once they get going they can be dangerous there are many of occasions where the broncos have been dangerous and took it to teams but it just seems the 80 minute performance isn't really within their reach That's one. now they'll be 15 out first tackle they have had some close wins uh, against the roosters and also the Cowboys, but the past is the past, and the future is what you want to grab a hold of. We'll see if they can do it here this evening. Early ball to Maliaki is dangerous, but he'll be brought down just inside of their own 30. Third tackle it will be. Crutcher, he'll send it off left here to Simon Hunt. He last week only ran 30 meters, but he did make 30 tackles to back up for it. The early kick again, this time it's Allison. Okay, nowhere near as good of a strike that Edwards did, but he'll pull up inside of... The Eels 10. Alamatungi for a dangerous return, but Kelly will come back one, to cover release. to make one of the few yeah. rare tackles that he does on kick returns. But the Eels are starting off their set well here. Yeah, the 40-20 attempt just didn't have the That's angle on it. It still got deep into the Eels half, but there was a good uh, kick return that kind of made up for it anyways. Alamatungi, just a little half break there as well. He's held there. 
He's looking dangerous tonight, Alan Matangi. Now they'll play it up the middle. Kalen Kelly, he'll get monstered by... I believe that is Jackson Allison. And now they'll go left. Short baller will be to Nathan Anderson. Anderson to be brought down on the Broncos' 30-meter line. Markers, I'll get onside. Jamison to do the duties at dummy half. Bakers for the kick. It's going to be down to Dylan Sharp. His first touch of the evening and evening now. Sharp, he'll get around one. But, uh, Dan Blaine, the, the previous try scorer for the Eels, will make the tackle. First tackle will be the Broncos. To work it out of, our, out of their own end, Felix Stoder to play the ball for second. Oh, look at his defense. Joey Kelly going absolutely nowhere now. Inside of the 30, they'll go left. Raymond, short ball to Stoder. Riley, it just seems the loss of Pete Ferretto and Jordan Ford early in the season was a big loss, but I don't think that they really did get the trade back when it came to the forward pack. It just seems to be lacking here for the Broncos. Yeah, look, I was a bit um, surprised when Pete Ferretto got traded out, especially with who he got traded for. I think that was a huge loss for the Broncos. I was wondering what they were doing, and I'd be lying if I said I didn't give them a really one-sided trade as well, trying to see if they were insane. Um, but Pete Verretta, I'm not sure why they would trade him for who they did trade him for. Just they really needed that depth from him. And oh, I they, they traded a, a huge loss. They traded a 68, 69 silver for a 64 bronze. So, yeah. Um, very interesting call there from Joey Kelly, but Daly has been playing well, but that lock position is not fending one bit, and that's what Pete did. Anyway, the bomb from Bakers. It's going to be a bit too deep. Kelly's going to have a clear, fair play at it. But the kick chase will make a very strong tackle on the Broncos captain fullback. He'll be pulled down on the 10-meter line. Daly now for a run. There's no dints being in made in this forward pack. The middle area for the Eels. A short ball now will be from Simon Hunt, who's found some space. Uh -huh. He'll pass it inside to Raymond. A bit of ball playing now. The two Broncos legends will link up there. The short side will look good now for them. Stowed a long ball to Dylan Sharp. This will be fourth tackle. Five short of the halfway, the Broncos. Slow play the ball, flat-footed Allison. He'll go short here to Barisic, who got smashed by his former teammates. He'll wear, up worse. He'll wear up worse for that one. Fifth tackle, Raymond doesn't kick the ball. He'll be brought down on the 40, giving Eels very good field position here. Yeah, 20 minutes in, we're going to see the interchanges starting to come through for the Eels and Broncos. And I'd like to see how these interchanges actually affect the game and how it's gone, because at the moment, it's very um, back and forth so far. So I'd like to see if these props can make any difference. It's going to be Bakers for a run on the 45. Third tackle it is. They'll go left now. It's going to be short here to... Evans, who's coming off the bench here this evening. Liam Evans. A good bump off it was there. Jameson will go short. Jordan Marshall. Will collide with Barisic there. And this will be fifth. They're looking for the bomb now here from Bakers. Not as deep as I want it. Cyrus Marks underneath it will get out. Leapt by Phoenix Murphy. The Eels will hand the ball over. In a oh, beautiful run here now from Felix Stoder through a hole. Right, he'll be brought one. down just over the Broncos 40 meter line now. Crutcher, he'll go right. And then they'll go out the back. Kelly, he'll go short to Isaac Edwards. Kelly not really taking the line on so far in this contest. That's going to need to happen if they want to take the game places. But Aiden Lawrence on the field. Yeah, Joey Kelly, he might just be a bit afraid of the uh, Eels forward pack. They are definitely very good. And Felix Stoda straight through the line. He's a bit underrated yeah. for the Broncos, He's isn't he? There. Second time this set. He had an amazing game against Penrith early before the mid-season break. It was round two, I believe it was. Also, Jackson Allison did those two plays. Going to need to have a blinder. And that's going to be Raymond with the bomb. It's pretty well placed. Who's underneath it? Taken well, Brown. That's one. That's what you need your players doing all hard, jumping up in the air, taking it with confidence. And now they're going to spread the ball early here to Marshall to get some good field position. Jameson, a dummy half. The Eels, they've got some brilliant outside backs. They're just containing the Broncos in the air. Yeah, just... Um, Eels just doing very well to hold on here. Eels, uh, the Broncos have been having a bit more possession lately. And... 
now that Eel's just been held in their 30. It's fourth tackle now. And it's a pretty bad offensive set from the Eels there. Yeah, the Broncos turning the tide with their defensive capabilities. Ole for the early kick, but there's plenty of cover back there. Joey Kelly finally getting the ball, but won't do anything with it as usual. He'll be brought down on the 40. Crutcher at dummy half. He'll go left. Then the long pass out to Dylan Sharp. And Sharp will be driven back just outside of his own 40 meter line. This is second tackle. Now they'll go right. Looking to shift the ball short to Felix Stoder again. He's always looking dangerous with the ball there. Felix Stoder. Third. Crutcher will go short to Lawrence. And then Eddie Devon. Devon will be brought down over the 40 meter line. Into Eels territory. They'll go out the back. Joey Kelly again going nowhere. They're reading him like a book at the moment. Like this game's been written like a script. They know his every move. Edwards now with the bomb. It's going to be too deep to contest. Well, it's kick chase like it's beautiful. Devon's going to whack Alamatangi. He'll do well to hold on to the ball now. Anthony McDonald for a run. But it was a beautiful kick chase from Eddie Devon for the Broncos. Yeah, the Broncos, they're just dominating in defense right now. And you can see the result of it. The Eels just can't get out of their half so far. And the pressure is just immense. Immense defensive pressure, as Nico Bro would say. And then Brown now will go. The Broncos looking to build something here in this game through their defensive actions. And that's going to be Baker for the kick. Again, plenty of people back there to defend. This time will be Justin Plays. What's he got for us? Nothing much. The man will be brought down on the 40 meter line. The Broncos working it out of their own end. They'll be up to the halfway and this will only be second tackle for them now. Crutcher, he'll go left here. Short ball to Joey Kelly. Kelly's finally found some space. Alamatungi's going to make quick work of it though. This will be third. Marks, he'll go right. Stoda short ball to Lawrence. And Aiden Lawrence will be brought down outside. Of the 20 meter line from the opposition. Now they'll go inside. Oh, Kelly, 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 around one. He'll offload. He'll be picked up by Marshall. The captain trying to make something out of nothing for the Broncos. But in the end, it's just going to be their downfall. Doing too much. And the Eels, they hold on. How good is that from Marshall? Just gets himself in the way and probably saves a try there as well. That's very good play by him. He's on. What have the Broncos done? They're doing so well defensively and just a little bit of pressure back on them and they, they've cracked. Yeah, that's what you call frustration. Down the opposition, you know, they put two brilliant defensive sets together, holding the Parramatta Eels inside of their own four, in their own half, you would say. But if you don't get results, frustration's going to build and that's what happened there. He's held there. Held that's down the one. tackle Two. and the piggyback penalty for the Eels out of their own end. They'll send it off left now, looking for their winger and... June and June's gonna go around Joey Kelly nearly. My apologies, it's not Isaac Simons on the wing. I did get that mistaken. Now they'll go right. Jameson, long ball, Anthony McDonald. Who hasn't had the impact off of the bench that we would have hoped or I sure Luke Short would have wanted to see. But a beautiful ball to Anderson. He'll be brought down just on the 40 meter line now. 40 uh, on the 10 meter line. Fourth tackle. Jameson will go for a run. Oh, very close to the line there. Broncos need Jameson to try and now stop now left hand upright. They'll go right. Baker's oh. beautiful oh. kick. Alamatangi straight over. They might be new. They might be fresh, but they've definitely trained together. The combination was clear as day there in that play. A beautiful kick. And Alamatangi will take it at the death. How about that for a grubber and the chase as well? I'm wondering how um, close Alamatangi was to being offside there. And... He's a step behind. He's, he's a very quick player. Can be deceiving if he's onside or not. Just because of how quick he is. And man, how about that from the Eels? Parramatta. Beautiful play it is. and There's nothing better than seeing Parramatta in full force. Away from home. Shutting up a home crowd. Bakers to convert. Six points of difference. Nine minutes to go. Riley Murray. Yeah, look, as soon as the Eels got some uh, some possession and a little bit of momentum behind them, they just cracked the Broncos straight away. And the Broncos, they were looking really well. Their defense was amazing for that period there. And they're just, they're selling right now. Um, they, they wouldn't be very proud of 
just that um, exchange of play just back there. And they're going to want to try and bring things back to how they were. Most definitely, and that'll be McDonald for the return. Met well by Eddie Devon for the Bronx. So now they'll go right. Bakers. And Bakers will go for a run. Allison in the tackle. Crutcher underneath. This will be second tackle. The Eels will go off right. Short ball lead to Evans. The, the scramble defense came quickly. There was a hole there. Now the Eels are shifted off right to Lachlan Cox. He's finally got the ball. First or second, probably second touch for the game for him, actually. Now be short of the 40 meter line. Shifting it back to the middle here for Evans, but Crutcher makes quick work of it. 36 meters gain now for the Parramatta Eels. Deep in the pocket, it's going to be Bakers for the kick. Not the best of strikes. Here comes Joey Kelly. Around oh, one of the has gone. It had to be someone. The captain's going to put his hand up. To drive the Broncos back onto this roller coaster. All aboard. Joey Kelly is going to lead the way with his actions and just with his statement, with his stamp that he likes to put on the game. And finally, the Broncos. Superstar fullback Joey Kelly will uh, finally awaken to the contest here this evening. And Joey Kelly just shifts the momentum in his favor. They had nothing. And all of a sudden, just breaks the line and scores for them. It's very good stuff from the captain. That's what you want to see from him too. Just leading by example. And the conversion as well. Broncos, I'm sure they'll be happy uh, to be back even with the Eels now. We'll just see who cracks first. Well, at this point in time, it has been hit for hit. Both sides have just been at each other's necks and falling, giving away points. It's going to be interesting to see what coaches say to each other at halftime and how the teams do come out to play in the second half. Whether it's more get some quick points on the board than play defensive or just go all out attack. Like both sides have been doing at the moment. And defense is definitely not in any of their minds until the halftime break. We'll have to see what captains and coaches do say. And Simon Hunt. He's been doing a bit more tonight with the ball. Defensively, he's had a lot to work. Work oh, to do as Lawrence. well, and that's going to be Aiden Lawrence. He got picked up for a reason, and he's working wonders for the Broncos coming off of the bench. Third tackle it will be. Now they'll go right. It's going to be Raymond. Short ball. He'll straight through a hole there, Raymond. But he decided to hand it off. No Allison at lock here, but they'll go inside to Devon anyway. And it'll be well handled by Jameson. He'll get the shoulder into the ribs. Warm it up to the contact. Now this will be fifth tackle. Crutch, he'll send it off deep for Raymond. And not the best to kick that both halves are delivering here this evening. Shockers off the boot. It has been. Cox will collect it. Four, oh, three minutes to go here. Yeah, the Eels, they're just... They, they've got good field position in this set. We'll see if they can just try and make something happen. There's a good run from dummy half from Jameson. And they're going to want to get it to their marquee players. Get it to uh, Amatangi. I mean, that's what they bought him for, just... Get him some early ball, let him make some plays. Yeah, very good it is indeed. Now this will be fifth tackle. Two minutes to go. The Broncos, they'll get last say with the ball here. Ole with the crossfield punt down to plays. The Eels kick chase has been immaculate up to this point. They're letting the Joey Kelly try. But it'll hold down for one final raid. The Broncos now to send it off left. A beautiful run here from Kelly, but the defense will come just as quick as he went off the mark. This will be second tackle. Crutcher, he'll go left. Short ball. There was a yawning gap, but Daly couldn't find it. Third, it will be a minute to go. Now they'll go left. Long ball. Cyrus Marks. He nearly got a try last week, but he bombed it just over, over the line. Now they'll go right. Allison intercepted. There's the change you've been looking for. Now it's going to be Marshall. Oh, no, and they haven't. Tackle the Eels. I'm sure they'll take the two going to the sheds. They will. A good call by Luke Short and Anthony McDonald pointing two from the bench. That's all Jordan Marshall there. Milked it beautifully. The high tackle given away it was. Baker's 25 meters out. A good way to finish off the game for the Eels. Man, Broncos will not be happy with this. Just giving up the lead just before half time. Uh, it would have been a good contest to see both teams just try and... Uh, struggled their way out to get the lead but 
Broncos would just give it away for nothing. They most definitely do. Very unfortunate it is. And there goes the halftime siren, but the refs once played to carry underway off of the kickoff. So the Eels will get one last touch of the ball before they go into the sheds. Both teams with a lot to work on defensively wise. Be Luke Short to finish this off. That's going to be full time here on SRL TV. 14 points to 12. The Eels away from home. We'll see you shortly for the second half. <laughs> Welcome back here to the second half on SRL TV. Going into the sheds, away from home, down in par from Parramatta is the Eels. Luke Short getting his boys up two points, heading in towards the halftime break. It was a high tackle given away on Jordan Marshall. I'm sure they'll be reviewed by the SRL judiciary after the game and as the week progresses. But nonetheless, Eddie Oliver is always joined by Riley Murray. Your thoughts on the first half? Yeah, I think it was a good back and forth throughout the entire first half, but... At the end of it, Broncos just gave away a free two points to let Broncos, uh, to let the Eels, sorry, have the momentum behind them to start this second half. And I think that was a big mistake from them, just getting lazy, giving away the penalty. And Jameson to go for a run there. Alan Tungy in the dummy half will send it off right to a rampaging Liam Evans. And now, just on the halfway, Jameson Baker, short ball to Johns, who's looking to be playing at second row here this evening. Coming off of the bench. Now they'll go left. Short ball here. Baker's not the best of kicks. Down to Justin plays, but the kick chase from Parramatta has just been exquisite tonight. It's on point. Looks to be a delicacy that they like dishing up week in, week out. It's been practiced for years. Excellent stuff there. But they're on the halfway, the Broncos. They'll go left now here to Raymond. Three, markers lock in. Deep inside of the, of the Eels half. Third tackle for the Bronx. Marks, he'll go right. Crutcher, short ball, Edwards. Love's taking the line on, but nothing will come of it there. Now they're going to go left. Allison will go for a run. He'll drive it inside of the 25 now of the Parramatta Eels. Fifth tackle. Pronunciation's a bit off. Edwards for the kick. It's well uh, placed. Taken by June now. But the tackle from Maliaki is absolutely amazing. Yeah, look, Brown just taking a run from acting half there. Just getting himself to the 30. It's a good, good run for his team, just being trapped in the 10 there. And now uh, Omatangi's going to have a run as well. Man, this Eels team, just getting that momentum. Omatangi's still going. Excellent run there, Omatangi now. He's got the Eels in a position. They've got a few tackles up their sleeve. Evans for a run, it will be. By the looks of it, has moved into lock. Now they'll go left. Baker, short ball, Johns. Jameson will come into dummy half. This will be fifth. They're going to look for the grabber kick now. Parramatta, uh, but it's going to be knocked on and picked up by Barisic. In front of the sticks, a huge mistake from Parramatta. They had opportunity to put the Broncos to the blowtorch. But unfortunately, got extinguished. Yeah, that's disappointing from the Eels. They had a real chance there to put themselves eight points in front. And now Lawrence, how good has he been? It was really good uh, last week as well. And he's just keeping that form. Just running hard and getting line breaks. Yeah, and Lawrence getting extended minutes here this evening by the looks of it. Good to see. Now it's going to be third. Now they'll go right. Here goes Joey Kelly. Again, not going anywhere. Only having that one line break, which did lead to that try. This will be fourth tackle for the Bronx. They'll go left now. Simon Hunt. Won't go anywhere. Fifth called by the referee over the effects microphone. On the 40 meter line, Edwards is looking for the ball. He'll receive it. The kick downfield to land in the hands of Lachlan Cox. And Cox, he'll get around one, but they'll come around to cover very well. Strong kick chase ta tackle made there. I believe it was by Levi Raymond. The Broncos are looking to back their defense. Yeah, that was a great run from Cox. And Eddie, I know you love Cox. And he just made a really good run there. It's good to see from him. He's brought it back. From the mines. There's that old statement. That's going to be Alan Batungi now. On to the halfway. It's fourth tackle for the Eels. Jameson, they're looking to send it down the short side. Long baller will be here to Dan Blaine. It was the first try score for Parramatta. Can he find a double? 
Oh, that's Suncorp, and the rain's really creating some puddles out there. Look at those dirt patches. And that's going to go left. Nobody's really wanting to contest it. It's going to be taken by plays. And he'll do an amazing job to stay in the field of play. June, it was with the tackle. Now they'll go here to Edwards, who loves finding some open space. He's got a good pair of wheels, Isaac. This will be second. Now the Broncos will go left. Allison, short ball, Barisic, offload, Crutcher. Liam Evans there to make a strong tackle. Three to bring down Crusher, it will be. And now Kelly now, he'll go left. Lawrence again, offloading. How good is he going? Barisic will get driven back, though. And the Broncos, they'll send it off left, right. And they'll look inside, but it'll be picked off by Evans. Again, another intercept. Errors are just killing the Broncos here from finding more points. Yeah, I think it goes both ways as well. Eels just making a few mistakes as well, just... Neither team being able to get a try so far in this half. And both teams probably have had pretty good opportunities to do so as well. But neither have just been able to convert it. I don't believe also that Luke Short is out there for Parramatta. So they're missing Kalen Kelly. And also Luke Short out there at the moment. So there's not much go through in the middle. But what's out wide looking like? It's going to be June. Charlie June. June is over for a try. I know Luke Short's going to be... Celebrating on the bench with that one. An amazing try it was. Around one, Joey June on the wing here this evening for the Parramatta Eels. And it's June to get the first points off the second half. Uh, an acute conversion awaiting Baker's here. I'm sure he'll look for the left to right. Right to left curve. And oh. oh, it's going to go off the upright, hit the steel work here at Suncorp. And four points the difference it will be. Uh, six, oh, no, actually. It is, it's in, uh, six points, so that two points does come in handy for Parramatta. Yeah, look, they kind of wasted the opportunity by missing that uh, conversion there. They would have loved to have that eight-point lead. But, um, yeah, as you said, I'm surprised that Luke Short has decided to bring himself off the field for, for this period of the game. Especially as well, Kalen Kelly, just AMAC being the main enforcer on the ground at the moment. So I'm, I'm keen to see how this forward pack really is able to match up here. As Murphy, straight through. Well, for the Broncos, you've got the best prop at the moment in Barisic, who's playing at eight. And Aiden Lawrence was decided to be brought back on from Kelly. So Anthony McDonald, I'm sure he'll make quick work of both of those two if he gets the opportunity to. Now they'll go left here to Johns. A hooker playing in the second row. You see it all. And then I'll be brought in just outside of the 40. Fourth tackle it will be Alamatangi. We'll go for the ball now. Round one. Solid run from him it was. to be brought down inside of the Broncos 40 meter line. Fifth tackle. The kick will await from Bakers. Not the best of kicks. Taken up on the run. Dylan Sharp now. Full race to the ages. Alamatangi. He's oh, right up he's there with gone. him. But he's not going to do enough. Dylan Sharp's going to be screaming now. He's loving this. The fans are here at Suncorp. They're going to be getting around their winger. He might be only a bronze. But he's got a big heart. He's got 90 break tackle, 90 sidestep. Underrated. There are so many in this Broncos side. But it's only going to take individual efforts here this evening, Riley. And that's, what it's, that's all it's been. It's, if the Broncos can play as a team, you reckon it'll go a long way finding a win. Yeah, look, Sharp just goes right under the black dot as well. Just makes his kick real easy for his 5-8. Uh, and that missed conversion just coming back to bite Parramatta because they could have been still two ahead right now. But um, now scores all evened up once again. And just back on the halfway. We're all locked up here, Suncorp, with 25 minutes to go. I don't know if we actually have had golden points so far this season in the SRL. Um, I think they. I think. I think we have. I think we have. But how good have golden points game been in the past at Suncorp? Panthers, Broncos, Caleb J running the length of the field last season for it. What have they got for us in season seven? I'd love a golden point exhibition match here. Now they'll go left. Allison for a run. Been very quiet and well contained at Lockyer this evening. Third tackle it is. Now they'll go left. It's going to be Felix Stoder. 
Let's Over the halfway, that's fourth. Now they'll go right. Raymond, off here to Aiden Lawrence. He's trying to make the 40 minute mark with his opportunity of this evening. We'll see how fitness holds out for him. Now that's going to be Edwards with the punt downfield. Taken by June, the previous try scorer for the Eels. June will be well handled there by Marley Arki. Parramatta working it out of their own end, just outside of the 20 meter line, Riley. Yeah, June just couldn't break the line there. Would have been very handy for his team. And once again, we're back into the arm wrestle. Just neither team. Oh, no. What have the Eels done here? They've just made a mischief. And Miscommunication it was. Now they'll go right. It's going to be Raymond out the back to Kelly. Again, not wanting to take on the line. Not really showing any interest in this contest, Kelly. And that's going to be second tackle. They'll go right now. Short ball. Hunt. Yosef Jackson. Oh, Alamatangi. He'll do well to hold him up. And they'll get around the legs. I believe John's assisted. Will K wants to go check this one, but I think uh, Jackson was put on his back there. Yeah, definitely. I think uh, Will K got that one right. And the Broncos, they've still got uh, a few more tackles to play with here. So we'll see if they can manage to get something. And Hunt goes very close. Game of millimeters. And Lawrence. And straight over it's Lawrence. His first try is a Bronco. He's going to be loving that one. Pump of the fist the Broncos. Two losses in the row against the Knights, against the Raiders. They're looking to find the first here after the mid-season break. They're going to be up by six points. The kick straight in front. They love scoring underneath the black dot, Brisbane. Eddie, am I, am I incorrect in saying I thought that he scored last week for the Broncos? Aiden Lawrence? Yeah. Ooh. That'd be an interesting one. I might I'm... I might be wrong, but I I could have sworn he scored last week. Cause I, I remember Caleb going on about um going on about him after. I might be going a bit insane though. No, he didn't score last week. He no. didn't? Oh. Um I'm not sure if he has scored at all. Um we'll just say congrats for the try. I believe it was his first try in the SRL. If it is, if it isn't, congratulations anyway, in Lawrence. Put in a lot of work getting, keeping active, getting those stats up to date. Barisic now for a good rampaging run towards the end of his stint. Now they'll go left. I should say right, my apologies. Off here to Kelly again, going absolutely nowhere. Scramble defense on Kelly this evening has been first class to none. And that's going to be Felix Stoder for a run. Third tackle brought down on the halfway. Crutcher will go right. Short ball to Allison. Again, not fending. There's players running off the field here for the Broncos. Interchange is occurring by the looks of it. And Edwards looking for a run in open space. is dangerous. Arkey and Daly have come back on the field now here for the Bronx. And they'll send into the pocket here for Joseph Jackson to kick down field. A pretty handy kicker. That's going to just stay in the field to play. Alan Matangi will take his time. He'll turn around and come back to the 10-meter line. And I'm pretty confident Kalen Kelly and Luke Short are going to be coming back on the field momentarily here. A good run here from Phoenix Murphy. Hell two. And Murphy will play the ball now. They'll go left. And there's Johns for a run. Three. Back to ten. He's Jameson, there. a dummy half. Liking the look of this right-hand side. They'll go there. Ole. Off here to Kalen Kelly, who's back on the field. No Luke short That's yet by the looks of it. Now they'll go back into the pocket for Oshay Ole to go for a run, but won't make anything of it. Halfway, fifth tackle. We've got 18 minutes oh, to go. No. Ricochet picked up by Liam, e Liam Evans. Again, not completing Parramatta on, on the fifth. The Broncos, they'll have some good field position here. Yeah, the Eels just giving away that field position. Just not being able to get the kick away. And now the Broncos, they're in good position and maybe try and get a try if they can get a few metres here. Maybe a line break as well. Broncos looking to close out the contest. Raymond, beautiful short ball to Daly, but there's nowhere for him to go. Crutcher, he'll send it off left. They're loving giving the ball here to Felix Stoda. He's gone through a lot of work offensively. Crutcher look like on the short side now. Long ball, sharp. Can he get over for a double? No, he can't. He'll be pulled down short. 
This is fifth now for the Broncos. Crutcher, he'll put on the grabber kick, taken by Kelly. It was a horrible kick Kelly got there, but there was too many Parramatta players to come around and cover. Yeah. Oh, Liam Evans, Evans straight, straight through. through. Yeah, the, the kick, it was kind of around a lot of Parramatta players. Joey Kelly wasn't in the right spot to go after it anyways. Just had to basically come in sideways. Couldn't even uh, run straight into the end goal. So that was probably a big mistake from the Broncos, but Amatangi straight through the line, making him pay for that mistake. And just on the 45 meter line now, this is gonna be third tackle. Left, they'll send it. Short ball to Anthony McDonald. Now they'll go left. It's gonna be Johns offloading to Bakers. This will be fifth. Can the Eels get a half decent kick away? There's Luke Short back on the park. Long kick here from Ole. But again, Dylan Sharp, he's looking very dangerous, Sharp. Got a try earlier from around this position, but it'll be brought down on the 30. Good kick return nonetheless. Now they'll go right, the Broncos. Raymond, Short ball, Mali Aki. And Aki will be brought down the outside of their own 40 meter line. Second tackle, the Broncos, they'll work it down the short side. Ricochet picked up by Stoda. Three in there to bring down the second row in the tackle. Now they'll go right, looking here for Joey. Amali Aki again. Can't find some open space. He's got a lot of pace if he can. But Crutcher, I'd rather send it up the middle to the forward to Fazio. And that's what he does. They won't find any benefit from doing so. This is fifth tackle for the Broncos. Set, uh, 13 minutes to go now. Ryan, not the best of kicks. Picked up by Blaine. A strong tackle made on him. But they've got some good field position here to work the ball Parramatta. Yeah, that was a bad kick from the Broncos there. And now Cox just with a half break. If Eels can maybe get some field position off this. They can score a try. Oh, Jameson, Jameson, good run. They might be able to level the scores again. It's going to be all there for a run. Short ball to Anthony McDonald. And Luke Short is out on the field. Biggest player out there, as you can see. Oh, and no. it's going to go to Bakers. A wayward pass again. That's only fourth tackle. They had plenty of opportunity to do something there. Broncos get the ball on halfway. This is unfortunate stuff here from Parramatta. Yeah, you hate to see it. Like, they've worked hard and just making mistakes when they really don't need them. And, uh, yeah, they're kind of just giving away the game at this point. They just need to work hard, get back in that grind, and try and get a try on the board. The Broncos really loving the stop-start play. If you can get them into a grind, cut back on the errors, you might find some reward. Fourth tackle it is now. They'll go right. And it's going to be Barisic, a long ball from Kelly now to Plays. And Plays isn't going to do anything with the ball there. Fifth tackle for the Broncos. Ten minutes to go now. Will be in the second half. A That's big a kick from Barisic. Alan Matangi underneath it. He'll take it in the field to play. And he'll get around one. But there's plenty of cover back there. But Alan Matangi, he did what they got him for. Defusals. And then also getting them good field position. Yeah, that was a great kick, but... Amatangi is just too good, too good at what he does. You can't really beat him in those situations. Just gets the ball and uh, gets his team out of trouble as well. Beautiful run from Lachlan Cox. Kelly to be taken out of the backfield here, so if they do get a line break, they'll get some good meters if they can. That's going to go left. Kelly short ball. Anthony McDonald will be well handled inside of the Broncos 30. If they get a good kick away, the chase has to be on point. They'll go right. It's going to be Ole. Again, not the best of kicks, but a flat-footed Dylan Sharp is not what you want. Because oh, he's going Dylan to do Sharp. it to them again. Surely not. Try, try again. He's gone. Blaine will chase, but it's going to no. be... Oh, no. <laughs> Surely not. What a try saver. That might be try saver of the year. That's at the death. I've seen that many of time. And never in an actual sim. Blaine, he's keeping his team in the contest. Sharp look to close it out. But Luke Short will go for a run. He thought the rampaging winger was going to get there, but unfortunately not for his case. Now they've got Alan Matangi. This is third now. Parramatta. They've got a breath of fresh air. Can they use it? Breathe and work together. June now will go for a run. Just out over the halfway. They'll go right. Short. He'll go off hit Anthony McDonald, his partner in crime as always, his vice-captain. Fifth tackle it will be now. Seven minutes to go. 
The kick here from Brown. Again, not the best of kicks. They're not getting their halves onto the ball, but a strong tackle made on plays. Looking to find some defensive resolve now. Parramatta. Daily, they'll have to contest with. They do well. Second tackle, the Broncos. Up on the halfway. They'll go inside to Kelly. Not going anywhere. They've done a good job on Kelly tonight. Yeah, they have. He hasn't really been able to get many metres. Dylan Sharp's been their big meterator so far. And I just can't get over that try saver. Just saving the game for the Eels. Keeping them in there, just barely. And it's all effort. What else can you say? Raymond now, the kick. Taken by Cox. He'll get around one. Can he show? No, he won't. One, release. Kelly will cover up He's well. This is first. Five minutes to go. The clock slowly counting down on the Broncos. They have a walking Parramatta dish up for us this set. Might be their final one in good field position. Now they'll go off here to Murphy. Murphy's going to be driven back just short of the halfway. This will be third tackle. Parramatta looking to spread the ball left. Off here to Zachary Brown. They get one line break here. They'll be in good position for an attacking kick, you'd think. They'll go left to June. Is this the line break they need? Well, it's the line break that they would have wanted but didn't receive. Now this is fifth tackle. Four minutes to go now. Bakers, a better kick. They'll be off to plays. What's a kick chase like? It's pretty good. The Eels, they've got to have a defensive set of a lifetime here. Force an error, anything. They just need the ball back in this sort of field position. Yeah, they're running out of time. They just need the ball back. They need to get a try and convert. If they can do that, I can... They'll be in golden point. They can maybe win this game. It could be a long length field to tie it up. It, it, it's anything. It could be length of the field effort. Just over the 40. Are the Broncos going to look for the early kick? No, they won't. They'll go left. Raymond, short ball, Hunt. A good player to have the ball in the hands of. Rarely does have an error there, Simon Hunt. But a kick it will be now from Raymond. They'll target Cox. He hasn't looked to warm up. But he's looking pretty good already. Oh, the race now. But Mali Aki is going to come around beautifully and cover up. It's two minutes. Parramatta, they've got the final say. What are they, what are they going to do with it? It's going to be off to Bakers now. He's held there. Two. Still time. But I wouldn't be looking at the clock. I'd be looking at the play in front of you. Cox again, he's looked very good. And they've given him the ball that he hasn't had all game. Jameson will go left. Ole, long ball. Oh. It's going to be picked off by Edwards. That's Edwards. game. What a play. You think that is game. There's a minute to go. I'm not going to bite my tongue just yet. I'll wait for the siren. But now it's going to be Stoda. The Broncos, I'm sure they're not going to be adventurous here. They'll just dish up some one-up plays. Edwards right, might have just won ball. his team the game. He might have. Isaac Edwards, the retiree who will be leaving the SRL at the end of this season, showing that he's still got plenty to give in this competition. Ten seconds. The Brisbane yeah. Broncos at home, they crawl their way back from behind for a win. And what a statement it was. Parramatta not able to come away with it. But I'm sure Joey Kelly and Levi Raymond, just the leadership team at the Brisbane Broncos and the experience that they do have in that side, are going to be loving that win here at home, Riley. Yeah, I reckon. I, I think that uh, Luke Short can hold his head up high. I think that his team did put in a really good effort. Uh, just a shame they couldn't come away with it in the end. Yeah, tries to Lawrence, Kelly, Raymond and Sharp for the Broncos. And Alamatungi, uh, Blaine and June. The black backs there for the Parramatta Eels really just telling the way. Um, Broncos didn't have much time possession, but their defense really did powerful. So we go to have a look at individual stats for the Bronx. Uh... <laughs> I want to say, where is Dylan Sharp at? 116 Sharp. running meters, three line breaks. It, he mightn't have had the running meters that he would have thought, but it was just where he decided to make his stamp in the game. The yardage meters that he had, that he had were absolutely outstanding. did an amazing job. Joey Kelly, five uh, line breaks, 217 meters, one try for himself as well. Did an amazing job. Felix Stoder, 80 minutes, second row, 15 tackles, two line breaks. I'd call that 200 meters. Um... Also, Ash Crutcher, they, two try assists and 28 tackles with none missed. That's pretty good. None missed. That is very good there from Crutcher. Um, the kicking game for the Broncos, all two halves gave it a shot, 100 metres each. But 
Uh, I reckon that's something that they can work on the off week. It really did just keep the Eels in the game until the very last minute. Their kicking game, their choice of kicking. Um, two tries to Crutcher. An amazing job. As we go over to have a look at the Parramatta Eels. Um, Tom Jameson uh, running 27 tackles, zero missed for the rookie. And also one tackle break. An amazing job. Al Matungi, 202 running meters, 12 tackles, eight line breaks. He really gave it his all. He got the try for himself. Lachlan Cox came in late. Uh, we didn't see much of him in that first half, but he really just sort of, sort of, sort of wanted to fire up in the second four line breaks for him. Baker's 207 kicking meters, one try assist. Um, the three errors, so that's really going to hurt him when it comes to some VP points being awarded. Yeah, for sure. Um, Anthony McDonald doing his best as always, nearly just under 100 metres, but I reckon they really missed Luke Short and Kaelin Kelly coming back on the start of that second half there. Yeah, um, I'm not sure. Probably. I'm not sure what um what the plan was there with Luke Short not playing as many minutes. Actually, I can't find him here. Where is he? Down uh, the bottom. He only ran for 38 metres in 36 minutes. Oh wow. Yeah, I'm not sure what the plan was there. Um, but. I don't know. I think that they definitely missed him in the middle, just not having mm -hmm. that experience there. Yeah, but, 100%. Uh, I think that's it. As always, that is pretty much it. Thank you all very much for joining us here on SRL TV at home. The Brisbane Broncos get the win against the Parramatta Eels, 24 points, 18. Stay tuned. We're going to be down at Brookvale, where it's the Manly Seagulls taking on, taking on the Canterbury Banks down Bulldogs. What a contest that's going to be. Manly, they've proved it to the top teams. Can they do it again? Thank you all very much for joining us. Eddie Oliver, as always, joined by Riley Murray, SRL staff, vice captain of the Melbourne Storm. We'll see you next time for more SRL action.